second week in September, so we're steadily, steadily getting on. The Ghanaian Times this morning reports that 500 kilometers Elubua Flau railway in pipeline and we're, we're told that we're going to have another from the western region all the way to Paga. We're waiting for it. As part of Trans ECOWAS transportation project, government securing funding for uncompleted infrastructural projects and President Kufuadu mourns Mugabe National Labour Commission summons Nagrat over strike and the independent newspaper fuel prices go up 50% in 32 months, according to the IES. Forestry Commission implementing measures to stop rosewood exports. And FDA warns public against shisha smoking. Well, we'll tell you about the others, what we found on the front pages, uh, what we received the papers. But my guest this morning, the Member of Parliament for the Futu constituency, Honorable Alexander Kwabena Afenyo Marking, uh, is here. And also, Dr. Clementa Park is the MP for Bolsa South. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. So, Council. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. So I'm, I'm trying to be a global citizen, so very well. yes, very important. It's good. We need that for survival. Let, let's talk about Rosewood, you know, uh, and, and I'll ask you why you are still working free. Because um, we're told that you're doing something wrong. So why are you working free? Yeah, you seem like the lone voice in this fight. Well, um, let me say good morning to you and uh, my, my colleague here. Mm. And to say good morning to the people of Bulsa South, Guznamina, my cousin is you. But as a matter of fact, I arrived back in Accra uh, only last weekend. I had been there since uh, the 18th of last month okay. uh, to go through the processes mm. of being confirmed as uh, the candidate for right. Congratulations. the National Democratic Congress uh, for Bootsa South for 2020 20 election. <coughs> and of course, I had to stay around and do some more work, mm. uh, including uh, various engagements as, as is expected of us. Mm. After all, we are on recess, and this is the time that we are expected to engage and interact with our constituents mm. to understand their issues and to see how best we can continue to advocate them. Mm. In fact, it was when I was uh, there that I became aware of uh, a press conference, uh, or if you like, a media interaction, mm. which was organized by the Commissioner for the Forestry Commission, okay. uh, Lawyer Kujo Free, right. also known as uh, John. But even prior to my departure, I had held a, a press event mm. uh, announcing the fact that I had filed a complaint with the Office of the Special Prosecutor mm. on the basis of a report uh, that was publicized globally uh, by an institution known as the Econo uh, Environmental Investigation mm -hmm. Agency, mm -hmm. a U.S.-based organization known and renowned for doing this type of uh, work and as far mm -hmm. as the environment is concerned. Mm -hmm. And the content of uh, that report, I believed, was sufficient grounds for me to file a complaint, mm -hmm. uh, largely because the report had made a number of allegations mm -hmm. whereupon um, it had indicated based on findings by undercover investigators working for the EIA mm. uh, that there was complicity at all levels of government and that officials of Forestry Commission, uh, even officials at the POPs, were complicit. They say you are complicit too. Were complicit in uh, allowing the illegal trade mm. uh, to continue. Uh, I believe that. Uh, in an attempt to try and divert attention, mm. the Forestry Commission uh, held its own press event. But the mistake they made was to try and make me a scapegoat okay. by accusing me of, you know, uh, exhibiting sour grapes because mm. I was a <coughs> beneficiary of the illegal trade. And that was why uh, I had sought to call attention because I was no longer benefiting. Is that the case? Uh, well, it certainly cannot be. Mm. And I've challenged them, as I said before, and I'm saying again, mm. you know, crime has no time limit. If indeed, say, John and government has any information or evidence mm. indicating my complicity, I'm here now. I should be arrested and prosecuted. But I can tell you as a matter of authority, uh, as truthful as I can be, that I have never participated, I've never been a beneficiary. Mm. And this is not going to cause me to stop this advocacy because... You know, various governments have introduced bans on this uh, illegal activity. And the current government introduced, uh, continued the ban, reinforced it more recently. 
<coughs> and one would have expected that with the reinforcement of the ban, mm. at least we shouldn't see the likes of Aisha Wong, mm. uh, who was, I, I wouldn't say famously, infamously arrested right. in the environs of uh, Tamale with some containers of rosewood, uh, whereupon processes were being put in place to prosecute her, only mm. for us to hear that she had John bail, reappeared, and then suddenly she had ended up back in China. <laughs> Subsequent to that, we heard of uh, a situation in the environs of Damango, mm. where another Chinese company was processing rosewood. Okay. It was supposed to have been shut down, mm. but only in the last two weeks, it emerged that the company had continued, in spite of the assurances that were given mm. by authorities that the company was shut down. And the only reason why that came to light was because there was a tip-off to a media organization. And when the reporter went there, they determined that the, the process rules would, was put at the base of the container and charcoal mm. was put piled on the top mm. as a way of, if you like, you know... Concealing it. Yes. Concealing it and getting it out of the country. The people of Tumu <laughs> in the Upper East region had to hold a public demonstration where they went to the district assembly to file a petition because another Chinese company had set base... You, in so that area, you don't believe that government, Rosewood. as it says, it's implementing uh, protective measures for Ghana's forestry. For well, cover. we are you don't to believe see, that that's, I, that's I okay. want to see results. I want to see what results. results do you want to the see? The talk is too much. What results do you the, want? The to result see? we want to see mm -hmm. is that the harvesting of rosewood should cease, the transportation of rosewood should cease, mm -hmm. the export of rosewood should cease, and we should see persons engaged in this illegality okay. by government's own standard. Mm -hmm arrested and prosecuted for the wrongs that they are perpetrating against the environment. What's preventing the government from arresting people well, who are your question, Your question is as good as mine. And I believe very strongly that it's because there is complicity. And the EIA report has made that very clear. Okay. And that is why I have filed a petition mm. with the Office of the Special Prosecutor because what the minister has done, which is at the, uh, at, on the basis of the, the global exposure mm. where this report and the accompanying videos were shown on both CNN and BBC mm. to set up a seven-member committee to look into this matter. It's not going to resolve it because the same entities mm -hmm. that are supposed to be complicit are the entities from that, which that, the that persons are drawn. The, 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 the problem. Yes, okay. are, are the entities from which the persons who compose, by and large, the mm. committee are drawn from. So on what basis do you expect them? What's the status to do a of your job? of your petition to the special prosecutor? I, I, I know that it is being worked on, and uh, I've been doing my, my checks and my follow-ups, and I truly believe that, in as far as our dispensation is concerned, on this matter, it is only the special prosecutor who can do a, a good job. Okay, counsel, the the conversation about Rosewood keeps coming up. Uh, one, one, and and over and over and over again, and it doesn't appear that we're winning the fight. Even though government continues to tell us that we're implementing measures to stop it, we're doing this, and every now and then arrests will be made, and we don't seem to see the results. Like Dr. Apak is saying, what could be the problem? Very well. Um, first of all, I would want to commend my colleague MP. Mm on this particular matter mm -hmm. i mean he's taking it up and that is our work as members of parliament right my issue with him has to do with the approach what, what's your issue what's Very wrong with the approach so why petition special prosecutor mm -hmm. to investigate who you see if we are not careful we may get the special prosecutor to engage in deep ocean fishing. If you say there's an IEA report, that report, EIA, 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 EIA report, that report that you're referring to, has it implicated a particular person, a particular official? Actually, is, is, that, is, that not, is that not why it must be investigated? Hold on. No, but, but as, as a matter of fact, it has. Yes. It has mentioned so, the specific name yes. of the report. So deal with those individuals. You see, the mandate of the special how, prosecutor... How does he deal with them? May, may I finish? The mandate of the special prosecutor is very specific. Mm. Corruption and corruption-related offenses. Right. It's recently, the High Court made a pronouncement on that. Mm. So don't let us overburden the special prosecutor and create the impression that perhaps it is not working. That, that's the, I'm only that's the special prosecutor's job to tell whether this 
is mine or this is not mine, is it not? What I'm saying is that he is a member of parliament. I'm only drawing his attention okay. to channel his concerns through the appropriate uh, 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 body. Agreed. But I'm saying so, that if, if you come here and you, you ask me to go and uh, who, be who a technical who person, who? Hold on. I, I'll tell you it's who, not my job if who, you are no, here. At no. You see, I don't know whether you really follow the Supreme Court's uh, decision in Richard Anani mm. against Shraj. Mm. It is not just enough to make an allegation. It's not just enough to, enough to act on something. <laughs> Let's be specific. You see, under our criminal jurisprudence, procedure mm. is important. It's extremely important, that substance. <laughs> you can have the substance, miss the procedure, and you lose it. So we would have to educate our people. Okay. Other than that, we go into this gallery business, uh, public persecution, prosecution, create the yeah, impression. That is not what I have done. No, no. 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 You, you may be I think allowed, I think don't, allow, allow, no, he may be I think allow, the general no, no, allow, allow him space. The point I'm making, he may be... Who and who, 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 who did you name in your... Who and who, who did you name in your... I have named a specific individual who was named in the report. Who and who have which, you Which is this individual? Uh, uh, the... the, the uh, the deputy commissioner in charge of wildlife okay. at the forestry commission. His okay. name was mentioned okay. in the report. So I've been very specific. Right. Thank you. I have. And are you saying that whatever, I mean, the report talks about corruption? It does. No. It, it, that, it, it, you see, that is that is that is okay. That, that is that is where you that is that is that is where you got in it. But you don't want me to flow. But I kept quiet. No, I was no, no, just no, taking yeah. notes. Counsel, it's not that I don't want to no, flow, no, but we must no, speak to the fact. No, thank you. No, no, you always have a chance. I know the content of my petition. You you always have a chance. Well, he's he's directing that. you what is in my petition. He's directing that the the petition is at the wrong place, and you must take it. Who doesn't make that determination? Well, I mean, special prosecutor. He's offering pro bono legal services to you, so. Ollie, Council, you, make progress, you, please. please go ahead. So, uh, it is important that in all our advocacy, we follow the proper procedure. To me, if all of us get to that point, the better it would be. Mm -hmm. Because other than that, it would be like, oh, today it is Kwesi Mesa, it is not me. Mm -hmm. So let's crucify. Let's go on this tangent. Tomorrow, it may be you. For instance, I mean, you put to him a question that, ah, but the people are also naming you. Mm. And he says, no, it is not true. The commissioner. Yes, the that, and that is, that is most, mm. that would be most unfair mm. to name without also following due process. Right. So then we leave it in the gallery. Oh, our park is this, Kodjo mm. Free uh, is that. Let's deal with the real issues. While we follow procedure, the, 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 the forest cover has been depleted. Our roastwood resource is going away. How long can we wait? And they are being exported. Right. So officials at the port, those in charge. That is why if we are doing the proper advocacy, and I, I commended him. That right. I mean, I've been hearing him mm. on this matter. So all those in the chain mm. of authority, the ports, because if they are being exported, that is a serious matter. Right. So let's, con let's, let's not personalize issues. If you are engaged in an advocacy, which would even help the commission, you should engage in that advocacy in a manner that you don't create antagonism. But you don't create you don't create that impression that oh, you are after them. Sometimes you can advocate mm -hmm. and even get cooperation. It, it doesn't appear to me that the commission's posture uh, is is welcoming the kind of advocacy that's perhaps up with respect. You see. Uh, because, Dr. The, Park, because, no, the, no. because there's been a back and forth. No, no, uh, no, Doc no, organizes no, I, the press I, conference. I, I think then the commission will organize uh, one. He uh, organizes yes, the commission. Yes, one. so mm. it is the approach. You see, Dr. Park has issues. And I'm saying that apart from the fact that these affect his constituents, I mean, some of these things are happening in his area. Generally, mm. it's a matter of, you know, our forests, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, resources being depleted. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I support him. But, if in his advocacy, mm -hmm. he is unduly attacking individuals, the means of advocating is creating the impression that mm -hmm. certain individuals are partakers in that enterprise, mm -hmm. whereas they are not, obviously. Is it, is it as concerns not because it does appear again that government 
is not punishing the people who have to be punished in the chain. You know, people cut it in the name of salvaging. Uh, they process it in the forest. They bag it. They put it in a container. And then they export it out of the country with security escort. That's the allegation he's making. And some of our friend, our colleague journalists, even from here, have also said that, look, we have seen this with our own eyes. And this is happening under the watch of government. So now if government says, well, through the Forestry Commission, we're implementing measures to stop rose root exports, and we're not seeing anything, people like Dr. Park will be agitated. They will ask questions. They will personalize it. Don't you think so? Okay, so it is good to engage in agitation, advocacy. When you personalize, that is where the issue of posture on the other side comes in. Mm. Why? In Ghana today, we know that businessmen who are supposed to pay the appropriate taxes to mm. GRA mm. do not pay. VAT, mm. people, I mean, so there's a, a general issue with how our system operates. It doesn't take government alone mm. or political leaders alone. But it takes collective effort mm. of those in the chain. Authorities, independent state institutions that have been established mm. to enforce our laws. Are you satisfied with government's, government's effort at stopping this illegal? I am saying that are you, are you happy? To, the ex to the extent that government has demonstrated sufficient commitment, okay. I am satisfied. In any event, Dr. Akpak is not saying or hasn't said that the rosewood illegal exportation has suddenly arisen he hasn't mm. said so mm. because i recall that in in 2013 2016 and all that mm. people were complaining there were right. all these reports right. it's, exactly. been, it's been with us if it predates that far far yeah. far 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 mm. we know about it. it predates those days so i am saying that if our institutions of state unfortunately and if he comes into government and I'm in opposition, I'll do the same thing to him. So I will not come and sit here and pretend. And pretend about some of these things. It is unfortunate that some of these um, happenings, at the end of the day, it is government that takes... Make, make recommendations for us. How do we stop this? The cooperation of those who are engaged in the, uh, 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 in the enforcement. The police, the soldiers, the forestry, uh, uh, commission officials... Everybody, mm. all the way to the port. I mean, there should be that cooperation. There should be that strict enforcement. Who must the, lead the charge in the strict enforcement? Well, the Forestry Commission is there. Uh, Sir John has said that, look, I am on top of my work. Mm. But he's one person. If he's leading the charge mm. as the chief executive, those in the chain, those in the security services, the businessmen mm. who know that look, this thing is illegal <clears throat> must cooperate. Okay. But if there we 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 decide to turn our eye to the other side and allow this thing to go, on. and then my brother, if you making such advocacy mm. to get maximum cooperation, you would also have to engage that institution okay. with that mandate to enforce, mm. because you may have some information. You can share with them. Mm. You can engage them without creating the impression that, oh, because I am an NDC, I'm going to say this to bring down your government. You see, if you give that impression, you may be doing, saying the right thing. Mm. I recall that in opposition, the I, I issue don't, of I don't, I don't believe that Dr. Park has, I'm not, has I'm, given I'm, that I'm impression I'm saying, of well, politicizing no, the, you, you, the, you, the you, you, have, you have asked the question. At least that impression is there. The way he petitioned uh, uh, OSP. Uh, uh, Office of the Special Prosecutor and the manner, that bit was a bit way low. Okay. I brought you... Where, I should, was, where should he I, have I, I, I was bring, giving you an example of okay. premix fuel right. and the use of this uh, uh, net. Okay. Those days, fishermen in my constituency were complaining. Premix and the use of this uh, net for... Right. Uh, the, 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 yes. Mm. I engaged... The minister, I engaged the commission. At the end of the day, we had a stakeholders meeting. You see, it is not yes, it's not always about being partisan. I'm, I think and, that and, 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 this, Dr. and, and Park, this is you assuming that Doc had previously not engaged 
the Forestry Commission. Not on that assumption. But I am saying I have done a statement I, I, on the floor of Parliament. Of course, I follow. Yes, I was there. You know fully well yes. that is back. So, so bottom line, committee. gentlemen. But I, I remember. I remember. I remember. the report. I remember. But it was adopted. But soon thereafter, so it is the, the report. partisan posture which is created. That is not what I have done. No, no, but that's what I have dealt with this issue as an individual, as you know. Well, I will join you in this. You know that. Okay. Look. Thank you for deciding to join. The consensus should be. Okay. Let's let's cooperate in this advocacy. Okay. I will be happy to share with you, you know, whatever information there is. Mm. I will be happy to receive information from you okay. so that we all add our voice. Great. So Thank that you. we make sure that Forestry Commission lives up to its mandate. I, I think that is that is satisfactory. I think it is fair. But, okay. but it is important okay. to clarify. Right. This issue <laughs> is not an issue that is being Partisan. Okay. I am not doing this as a member of the NDC. Okay. I am doing this as Dr. Clement Apak. Okay. And that is why you had said that I'm a lone voice. Right. And you've just what? gotten a partner. What? <laughs> what? Well, yes. So I just got we are show, show about us partisan. You've just recruited. We are getting about partisan. Uh, just, you know. So he's, well. he's just recruited. No, but the point I'm so soon hereafter, you, you see, see the, because, the because <laughs> of my petition. Okay. The assumption is that. I am going after certain personalities. Right. But the point I seek to make is that my petition is based on a report. Okay. I didn't the author EIA the report. report. And I had no hand in contributing to that report. Okay. And if the report has made some allegations mm -hmm. that I feel should be looked into, I think it is my right. Should it have to taken bring you, that forward? My, my quick, quick question was, should it have taken you to uh, petition to have such a report of importance uh, it, being on the front banner for government, for example? Yes. In fact, it, should I, it have I, taken I must, you... I must tell you the truth, that if not because of that report and the subsequent actions that I took, government certainly would not have put together that seven-member committee. The kinds of responses we are now getting, mm. including media exposures, even a press conference from the Forestry Commission mm. on this issue, would not have come. And remember that okay. other work had been done mm. before I made my move. So at least, if or nothing at all, my petition and the report mm. has gingered a serious national attention to what has been, mm. you know, an outstanding. But I think the one one of the one of the issues has also been that this thing has been there for some time. Right. I, are you saying that really I have not? I have not denied very it. Well. So, right. I, but well, I was I, not a member of parliament for Bootsa South. But at the time. Government. I was not a member of parliament I for Bootsa South. You were in government. And that is why I've told you that. No, I have not approached no, this. You in government. I have not approached this as, as, as a, a member of the, as, a, as an individual. Uh, yes, but as you, a member of parliament. You've been an individual for over 40 years. People. And yes, we had also put in place a ban. Since when? Because we have become aware that this atrocity was ongoing. The first ban was introduced by our government. We reinforced it, and you came and continued. Okay. And you said you had reinforced Ghana it. Ghana government, whoever is in charge, please fix this now. Uh, we can't continue having our roof illegally stop. And I will exported. Not stop. That much I can and tell And let's you. not well, put party politics there. So, uh, Most Reverend Awatri Pratt has been speaking about uh, some critical issue. I want you to take a look at it. When we come back, we'll discuss that in full detail. Most, Awatri, uh, Most Reverend Awatri Pratt of the Methodist Church go to civilized countries, certain politicians, people are there because of their merit, not appointed by politicians, and they work and serve well. Look at our security agencies, puppets of the ruling, ruling party, ruling government. And so they are not able to open their mouth, even arrest thieves who ride public cars and are fed by the, by the state. People who earn more and better way of salary and free benefits occupying official houses with chauffeur driven cars benefits come in in thousands they steal the most in the country go around the prisons when we go to give communion and pray for them we are kuko we are ponji some remand for years and yet those who openly steal and plunder walk our streets. That's the most reverend uh, Awachi Pratt of the Methodist Church. Uh, he's speaking passionately. Did he speak truth to power? I turn to you. Council, did, did uh, 
did the most reverend speak your mind did he use the pulpit well uh, he spoke about three things one the fact that our security couples have become puppets not just now but every now and then because they are appointed by the ruling government they become puppets so they fail to arrest the, the people who are supposed to be taking from us and uh, the the smaller thieves are jailed and the bigger thieves are exalted and protected did he speak truth to power did he speak the truth okay one on the issue of security couples becoming puppets of <coughs> government of the day because they are appointed by government of the day. I disagree with him because the government has no discretion mm. when it comes to appointment of officers, heads of the security institution. Mm. The constitution gives government the power. Okay. So that metaphor he created, saying that in other jurisdictions, mm. they are appointed on merit. If at, in other jurisdictions, the constitution requires that an independent mm. commission should be there to make such appointment, that is what happens there. Okay. So, you see, it is okay to advocate mm. using the puppet or any platform. After all, it leads to a better Ghana, and okay. I agree. But when the constitution says so, mm. we should go by that. So I think the impression created out there is that, oh, although they can be independently appointed, mm. government is rather exercising a discretion mm. to appoint its favorite. Mm. That is wrong because... The constitution it's is clear. But, but so no, no, please. You've asked an important question. I beg you. Let me finish. So I want to. I want to no, let me let different. me finish. I beg you. Other than that, I would, I would I would just miss a point. Okay. So, most reverend makes a good point. Okay. But I disagree because it is a constitutional appointment, and so that comparison we did is wrong. Okay. Two, on the issue of somebody stealing a goat. So, so let's deal with the security issues. ACP Doctor Gozo of the of the Ghana police had mentioned that if you look at the composition of the police council which is chaired by the vice president as the interior minister there has a rep from the attorney general's department and has other government appointees in there that alone itself would perhaps speak to what most reverend is talking about and is advocated that we change it because it makes our security couples inefficient if you know that you will, for example, be kept in acting position for a long time because before you are confirmed, uh, the man you bow to on your council is the vice president, a political appointee. The attorney general is a political appointee. The interior minister is a political appointee. Uh, if you look at a group of 10 or 11, and you have about eight of them being political appointees, what is your power? So let us, let us begin a discussion on the amendment of our constitution. Okay. Because if Mr. President does otherwise mm. it is unconstitutional right therefore if at this point after 20 years or more of our practice mm. we think that we have come to the realization that the constitution this working document mm. of our democracy has problems we should amend okay that one there's no problem mm. at all let me come to a second the, point. the big thieves small thieves yes mm. you see <laughs> until we uphold the rule of law mm. in a manner that would ensure certainty we'll continue to have these problems okay yesterday i engaged some students and i said this conservative approach of limiting the number of people who are called to the bar as lawyers mm -hmm. is a problem because in my early days as a practitioner i had the opportunity of going to the hinterland and you go there there are no lawyers mm. so i agree with uh, reverend Okay. That somebody who has stolen a goods mm. will not get a lawyer representing the chief justice say no wholesale, no and, wholesale production and of lawyers. Will not get a lawyer representing him. And as a result of that, the judge may just you know uh, based on P facts push him in there. Convicted. Some of them the police officers. And this one, let me reiterate it. Mm. In my practice, in criminal law practice, I realized also that in some of these areas these people when they go to the police station okay the cid will just say oh they confess oh they can say oh yeah 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 y
he admitted. He that confessed he, that he, commit, he committed so the offense. So exactly, I've had five or more appeals wow. at the high court where I got the conviction over ten. The people acquitted because they really did not confess. Okay. I followed up a case all the way to Supreme Court mm. because it was an alleged defamation. They said, "Oh, the man confessed." Meanwhile, the old man they didn't do it. That's for the and small thieves. The, what I about the saying, big thieves? The big thieves who are alleged who are who are driving. I am talking about the law. Mm. So. That is that for those who may not have legal representation. Right. Now, if you say somebody has stolen state's mm. property, mm. has stolen money, you see, we created the same problem in 79. Okay. We got Rollins to match people to Teshi, kill them. And then we turned around and said, Rollins is a murderer. Let us be careful the way we do the gallery attack. Mm -hmm. I am saying that as a country, if we want to really survive, and this one is a question to the political class, we shouldn't create the impression he's a thief. The pastors. Mm. Let me tell you something. On Friday night, I was at my office at Trade Fair. Okay. I saw some soldiers there. Mm. I saw police motorcade. Three. I said, ah, what's going on here? Do we have some state official? They said, a certain man of God is here. And they were leading. So I asked the soldiers. <laughs> I asked the soldiers. The crusade and you are here? So I am saying how did he get there? He paid. For I am it? saying well, that please question. I'm making a point. I beg no, you. No, no, I want to understand. You have told let, us. Let something. me finish. If you allow me to you finish. Have raised a very big issue. Good, take, your take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Most your Reverend Awatri Pratt mm. has raised a good point. Okay. Pastors are also getting motoke. Okay. Men of God are also going to the corridors of power for favors. Okay. I am saying that Ghana is not a perfect country. Mm. I have been in other West African jurisdictions, okay. as a member of ECOWAS Parliament, mm. we are better off. But we can enforce our laws, mm. allow systems to work, so that we, as Ghanaians, will benefit. And if we can do that, mm. we cannot continue with the gallery talk. If you say somebody has stolen, I have no problem with that. But can most reverend Awatri Pratt say that Kojo Mensah mm. has done this, or he is only can the most reverend can the most reverend for example say that look uh somebody goes to school gets a degree starts working for a long time is not able to even put up a house somebody gets into part uh, politics not parliament politics right uh he's a foot soldier who suddenly gets a certain board appointment somewhere and in in a year two he has a giant mansion from somewhere where did he get his money from okay so the impression that's created by the political class themselves maybe shoots them in the foot don't you think so you see these are all legitimate concerns mm. but to what extent can you move around this to really pin the person to corruption all right okay. to me if we don't deal with this in a manner mm. that would prevent people as it were from engaging in acts of corruption, mm. so to speak. And we continue to put people together and say they are corrupt. Okay. They are stolen. Mm. Opening, I am telling you that this thing is not new. It happened to Kwame Nkrumah. Mm. It happened to Buzia. Mm. It happened to Achampo mm. and others. Rollins came, lined them up. The same advocate, you see. They are thieves. Businessmen suffered. Politicians suffered. Mm. State uh, officials, my own uncle who has gone to take a loan, Major Aqua, mm. was shot. He's from in Switch, my uncle, my mother's first cousin. Mm. He was shot. Perhaps as a retired officer, the impression was that how come you would get this man, but okay. he took a loan. Right. I'm po my point is that let us, mm. in saying all of these, still direct these things to the institutions of state. Let's strengthen the institutions of state okay. to make them effective okay without it apac will be in opposition today call uh, kojo mensa who is in government today corrupt expect that by mere saying that the person is corrupt the person should go to jail thank you Your when point, i come point is I, well I, I come into opposition Let, i'll do the same let, thing let's, let's the man of god out there would also say oh they are stealing why are they working free mm -hmm. but everybody is entitled 
to legal representation. Okay, thank you. Let's switch the uh, the the, uh, the the thing now. Um, I don't know if we should go to Crystal for some messages. We'll go to Doc. Uh, well, Doc, apologies. Let's go no, to no, Crystal okay. okay. and, and do a few WhatsApp it's, it's messages. And, uh, no, Crystal, bring it down. Bring it down so we can see from the from top. The yes, top. a lot more messages. Uh huh. Be brave. Be brave. Be brave. <laughs> Where do we start from? Okay, no, it's still up there. You, you, oh, still, okay, you still okay. have a lot more coming up. Yes, 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 yes. And you can always send uh -huh, us our WhatsApp on 020-216-6633. Fire away, sweetheart. All right. Akufuado to account for corruption fight today. I'm disappointed in President Akufuado, and I believe Ghanaians too are. His posture and attitude towards the fight against corruption is woefully disappointing. After he has cleared all corruption scandalous, what is he coming to tell us again? Refund or... There's no need because we know the answer already from Ablade Efia uh, Kumazongo Takarade. AU Farouk Tamale North constituency. Good morning. How will government fight the Rosewood menace when government appointees are deeply involved in that illegal activity? Ghana under this NPP administration is full of criminal engagement. <laughs> Interesting comment. It's only in Ghana where politicians think the country belongs to them and that they can take any decisions at all. Hmm, this country from Nana Anoche in Kenten Kono. Good morning, TV3. Please, Johnny, tell Alexander that. The MPP people should stop bragging about NAPCO. Are they paying us? Hmm. Some of us, four months now, we have not been paid. So we are patiently waiting for NDC Manifesto to see how much they put us in picture. Then we see what happens in 2020 from Frank Opong from La Paz. Al Hassan Wanwana in Wa says, This government is really fighting serious against this illegal Rosewood menace. Unlike the past administration who was first introduced, the business... Who was first introduced the business? To, who first introduced the business to Ghana? We have to blame the past administration for the introduction. My regard to Honourable Afenyo uh, Markin. I voted for Nana Ado in 2016, but I'm disappointed that he is the most corrupt president. Okay, president ever. God save Ghana. Abbas from Moa says. Good morning, lawyer Afenyo Markin. Is no, no, no so, that, good morning. I've never been. I'm not Markins. Market, mm, market, market. It market. It's okay, it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Market, pardon yes, me. I've Thank been you. correcting. Thank pardon me. If he wants to criticize me, he should sorry. write me correctly. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. pardon me. Sorry. Pardon so, me. so let's say that. Let's say production time. Let's go. Okay, all right. Good morning, lawyer. Afenyo Makin is defending his corrupt government. Honorable Clement's procedure in petitioning the SP is right. In any case, allow the SP office to decline jurisdiction over it. The corruption in this government is too much, T.Y. Charles from Wa says. From Emilia Asawa say, everything about this administration is lies and fraud. When they tell you I'm incorruptible, then they are trying to tell you that they are most corrupt. Um, this government have this government has not been able to do anything to do anything extra to tell Ghanaians they are truly the best alternative for Ghanaians. In fact, they have made us remember how we have really sold our color TV for black and white. Wow! Greetings to all social democrats. Good morning, TV Three and your panel. I believe in the complicity of state actors in Rosewood in the Rosewood menace, considering the hostile posturing of the Forest Commission to the report, instead working with Dr. Apak to investigate the allegations. This is from Sir John Landry in Wa. Good morning, Johnny. I want Afenyo Markin to know that fight against Rosewood has worsened under this government because in the past, no Chinese was arrested and allowed to scout free. Where the Chinese... Um, where are the Chinese who were arrested? Ko Sami Nima. Please, most Reverend Titus, our tree is right and on point because some politicians do abuse their um, office, do abuse their office. And then from Eben from Kwabenya, Welder Junction, I, as a citizen of the nation, don't believe the President Akufuado um, can fight. Um, corruption. I see him to be a walking contradiction. He says this and does other things. I believe most Ghanaians voted him to power, thinking he can fight corruption. But when do we see? But what do we see now? He has become a clearing one. I think the way forward is br is to bring Christian councils, civil societies, and all the political parties on board for dialogue and to deliberate on how to fund them. Greetings to lawyer Kanga Kesi of Awutu. We are always doing dialogue and. Um, good morning to you and your cherished listeners. The discussions is so exciting. God bless TV3 by Issa Tamale. 
Um, good morning, CB3. If not for malicious left hand, left handed thinking, why should governments change IGPs upon winning political power? This is from Awal in Tamale. The Reverend has hit the nail right. The real big thieves are caught on video. Yes, the government clears them. Only b beneficiaries of the thievery will disagree with Reverend. This is from Musa from Nima and last but certainly not the least good morning Johnny I'm in support of Reverend of the Reverend Minister ordinary Ghanaians who stole bicycles would be prosecuted but PPA boss was asked to set aside step aside and yet still Mr. Makin is still defending his corrupt government appointees including himself God is watching and would judge them one day Sylvester from North Dai Ghanaians thank, you. thank you very much I don't think that Honorable Makin has defended anybody he's saying we should follow due process and allow the law to work so crystal thank you very well, much thank you too. And, and, and regarding the ppa boss he is innocent until proven guilty he's before shraj and the osp so allow these processes to go on. johnny i think uh, let me make a quick intervention the doc has not had his bike no no, 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 just a quick, I'll give you time no no just a quick one i, I think that in reading messages uh, you would also have to be fair and exercise discretion mm. i wouldn't want to come to your platform for somebody to make an allegation against me and you read it out Mm. I mean, it's absolutely unfair mm. for somebody to say you are defending a corrupt government. That, that is like why. That is why I corrected. No, no, no. But you don't read it. But these are other these than, are these are corrupt Well, then other people. than that, you so, would want no, to so, you so want to public, open a floodgate public, for people to be attacking. That is unfair. No, no, no. And that is that is why I put out the quick rejoinder and said, "This is not what you have said here." Very well. Thank you very much. Well, um, Johnny, did, did the my, Reverend my, Minister yes. speak? Uh, what? we have not heard in a while well first of all let me say that uh, as a citizen uh he has every right to express his opinions mm -hmm. uh about what he believes are the ills of our society and our nation that should be welcome after all mm -hmm. we are in a democracy okay um and as much as perhaps you know his comments may not be pa palatable to the political class uh, there is nothing that prevents him from making them but I do agree that the first issue he raised uh, regarding the examples he gave, the right. first one being the appointment security of uh, security couples. heads and mm. the, the fact that because they are appointed uh, by the, the government of the day or, or, or the ruling party of the day, uh, it, it essentially makes them, you know, puppets. mute, okay. if you like, puppets, so to speak, in terms of, you know, exhibiting or, if you like, dispensing their responsibilities. Mm as will be required. That can only happen uh, in terms of the independence of the heads of the, those institutions vis-a-vis uh, -vis the mm. appointing authority mm. if the laws of the land are changed. Okay. And in that regard, I agree with my colleague. Awal, for example, is asking why IGPs, for example, change when they, whenever well, there's well, a the new government. That, the, the point is that once the, the constitution mm. gives that uh, mandate or allows the, the, the leadership of the day to make certain decisions whereupon those decisions are not against the spirit of the law itself. Okay. We, we can talk about has, these things. Has that we law can, been beneficial we, we, to we, us? We can, we can let, speak let me, about... Let me ask you, the point I'm let me ask you as an academic and as a lawmaker, has this law well, helped us if, if in our a, fight if, against if as a nation, corruption? And we, we have come to the stage mm. where we believe that there is a need to amend No, I'm asking you, is there, is there a need, though? Well, I, I think I happen to be of the opinion that it is time that we allow for the independence okay. of certain state institutions and agencies. Mm. And I want to believe very strongly that as happens in other, other jurisdictions, the security sector in particular okay. should be a sector that shouldn't be easily influenced okay. by the political class. Mm. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't want to cite other examples in other jurisdictions, but the point the Reverend is seeking to make is that in other places, mm the political class, even members of a ruling party, can be duly held accountable right. if and when they err or they, they, they offend the laws of the land. Mm. But his argument is that because in, in our setting, okay. it is uh, the, the government of the day that, that appoints okay. the heads of the security agencies, mm. it then presents a challenge as to their effectiveness. So that problem is not a creation of a particular political party. Okay. It is a creation of the constitution. Mm. So we can try to look at using moral suasion. Okay. You know, to bring that. You can look at the election of MMDCs. Right. They are currently 
appointed exactly. by the president. Exactly, but, but it's been and, changed. Right. And the president is leading the charge on that, that to, let us even amend. Right. To so that, we, we are free we, we, to, we to have make that The Methodist Church can bring a memorandum, bring it up, okay. raise it. That look, okay. certain aspects of, it's a big church. Right. It's a church that practices democracy. Right. You know, in it the election. Me methodical. Methodist so Church, the synod. Be a bishop, the synod. That synod. My friend, the structures <laughs> there. You can't do okay. it. So, so I think that the church should come up okay. with proposals to bring that okay. to bear, so that okay. we amend the constitution. Thank you. To the, bring that to bear, big, as I big was saying. Big thieves, small thieves, let's deal with that quickly so that we can wrap up. Well, there are, there are a, a variety of reasons why that would be the case. And I, I in, in, in my previous, uh, you know, advocacy, I've always advocated for uh, justice, uh, you know, as far as the justice delivery system is concerned. Right. I've become aware of cases like that where persons have gone to jail mm -hmm. for perhaps taking a few tubers of yarn. Okay. Where others, as the Reverend himself has said, uh, have worked okay. for doing what is much bigger. But he was educating us earlier when we were having the Rosewood debate mm -hmm. that sometimes it is the, the processes and the procedure, not the substance. But is that right? Is that fair? Mm -hmm. But collectively, we need to do something about it because more and more mm -hmm. the impression is being created that the political class is taking on due advantage of the system whereas those that we have even been put in place by they themselves to serve mm -hmm. are getting the short end of the stick and i think if we don't address this problem mm -hmm. in a very meaningful way you know and if we continue to posture okay. by our pronouncements our acts of commission and omission mm -hmm. as a political class the public would continue to lose state okay. in the political class and state institutions. Mm. And when that happens, then our democracy Chaos. itself is endangered. Right. Yeah, but I think the reverence, uh, his, his outburst, so to speak, okay. Okay. is justified. Because, I mean, the airwaves are full of allegations of corruption, of people walking, and you saw some of the messages. Mm. And as much as I don't believe that some of them were fair, uh, to my, my colleague here because he didn't defend the government. Exactly. He spoke which, to the issue. Which I corrected. But we know mm. that some of these perceptions are there, largely based on recent developments. Right. Because how do you okay. justify but persons who uh, uh, have been doc, caught on doc, video? Doc, I, I want to bring a quick point. Okay. You remember that when Kufo was in office, mm. issue of corruption came up and he demanded evidence. Right. When Professor Mills was in office, issue of corruption, I recall, mm. in the press conference, he also said, bring me bring evidence. evidence. You see, Nana Akufuado, human rights advocate, who believes in procedure. Mm. Now, whenever he raises the point that, look, when the allegation is made, let's allow state institution to work on it. Then it's like, oh, he's becoming a clearinghouse. When Nanadu came into office, mm. my brother, if Nanadu had just the security agencies upon any allegation in the media mm. go and arrest but you see go, just let me make the point but you go see? and arrest go and arrest oh, oh, oh. the same Ghanaians who say yeah. eh? but, but and he's arresting people so, so, you, so when you, why don't you counsel, counsel when you when somebody makes an allegation and you call for evidence and you form a committee and you deal with the matter and we don't and see the report and you don't see the report and so we, we don't know what happened it will fuel the allegations don't you think so and the perception it is, it is a legitimate demand mm. for a report on a matter to be disclosed. Right. It is a legitimate demand. Mm. That one, I wouldn't take it. If there is a matter of public concern and you demand to know, mm. and that is where I am of the view that you can even go to court, all right, mm. under the 55, an administrative body. Mm. Mm taking decisions. You can ask mandamus, mm -hmm. prohibition, sexual co-waranto, all those reliefs are there. You can go to court and originating motion. Okay. You don't need to even file a read that will take a long time. Take an originating so you see, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. I have so, been, so, I have so, been so, so, so the president the president Johnny. is set to, to, to talk about corruption Johnny. It and how he's fighting Johnny. it. I'm it asking you a, a very final one. Our time is up. Very Please well. uh what would the president say that we haven't heard already? Johnny, it may not be palatable, but I tell you this, until we come to terms okay. with the need to allow systems and due process to work, we will continue to do, engage in this 
and it will take us nowhere. What, what would the but president it has say happened, that it he has happened said before? before. I, I say he's not going to say anything. Pre okay. Mr. President is going to encourage all of us to have confidence in our institutions of state. Johnny. He's going to reiterate his okay. commitment okay. for due process. Okay. And I am telling you that it is only through this, mm. it is only through this, that we can make this country a better place. Because if we, if we commit ourselves to due process, mm. and that institution is not being independent, do you know that I am have issued a process in court against Let you have my last bite. for failing to for I failing to publish a, a report? Mm. Mm. And I am doing that. I am in government. Okay. okay. I am in government. I petition Iyoko to investigate a matter. Iyoko is done with the, the investigation. The report is not out. And okay. I've written and they've not given me so a copy. So you want a copy of it? Of course. And I'm going to court. Okay. Very if well. I can do that without saying that, oh, because I'm in government, Very if well. I... So everybody else should be able Let to us okay. use that Johnny. system. Johnny. What is the president going to say? Of us? That, that if hasn't if been if said before. my honest opinion, the president is not going to say anything new. In fact, it should begin with the president himself. If uh, he had done... What we all expected him to do, like as he had promised like us what? in opposition, what, what should he like what? What should in he terms have? of investigating and holding persons in his own government accountable, he hasn't rather done than that. clearing them, he hasn't done. That. I believe Ghanaians would not be screaming the way they are, mm. and we are not saying it. If you look at the lives of Baitu Zazim, mm. look at the lives of Ata Kennedy, mm. look the, at the lives of uh, Nyahuta Maklo, mm. mm. oh, oh, and even look even into my eyes and say, look into my eyes, you know, <laughs> no, no, they no, are all. Look because into my eyes and repeat what you just said. Look, look, look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. And mention the names again. Mention the names again. I'm saying look into and mention the names again. Persons who mention the names again. on video. I'm saying look into working at the presidency. Investigations have been conducted. Let's go see this up front. Alexander, I'm going to see the report. Uh, the your president president is the member of parliament he for the, the fight against constituency. corruption. He should have and admit counsel, it. Apologies uh, if, if some of the messages uh, were. Well, well uh, I, I think it has registered. You are you a friend that, of the station, so. Uh, we uh, we can't yeah, 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 People with their partisan quack views. If you want flowers to grow, grass will grow too, so apologies. And Dr. Clement Apak is the MP for Busa South. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. It was grateful.